On behalf of myself and all the Bruins fans out there, it's my honor to present the Masterson Trophy to Phil Kessel. And there it is. It, it may not be the most recognizable trophy, not like the heart of the Conn Smythe where you recognize it right away. It is the Bill Masterton Trophy awarded each year to the player who best exemplifies perseverance and dedication to the game of hockey. It is named after a man who 40 years ago yesterday became the lone name in the most tragic statistical category of them all. This is Bill Masterton's story. 1968, a time of unrest and upheaval in the United States. A war in Vietnam that tore the country apart and the shocking assassinations of Martin Luther King and Robert Kennedy. That same year, tragedy struck the NHL. I was thinking to myself, my God, I mean, he is dying. Bill Masterton, you know the name. You hear it every year at the NHL Awards Gala. To present the Masterton Trophy. But do you know the man? As great as the guy he was on the ice, he was ten times better off the ice. A Winnipeg native, Masterton earned a degree from the University of Denver and won consecutive NCAA championships. In 1961, he signed with the Montreal Canadiens, but the team's depth at center soon left him on the outside looking in. When no one else signed him, Masterton found work with Honeywell and worked on the Apollo Moon Project until the Minnesota North Stars came calling. He told me that they had just given him the offer, so it was kind of, you know, we kind of joked, and he says, well, it's something you always want to do, and I think it's going to beat working. Masterton's impact was immediate. He scored the first goal in North Star's history. But on January 13th, in a game against the Oakland Seals, tragedy struck. According to eyewitness accounts, Masterton was hit by Larry Cahan and Ron Harris. He threw a pass over to me, and... Uh... And as I was receiving the pass, I was looking over towards him, and you could see that he got hit. When he fell and his head hit the ice, they could actually hear it from the bench. And the uh, team doctor actually said he could hear pop, the pop sound, and knew right away that there was something wrong. It was tough. You look at Bill on the ice, and you could see that he was in deep trouble. Masterton was rushed from the Met Center to Fairview Hospital in Minneapolis but the prognosis was bleak. Uh, we were called in and said there wasn't much hope. It was, uh, it was pretty hard to take. Myself, I would go in, sit with them, and just kind of pray. On January 15, 1968, Bill Masterton died at 29. He's the only NHL player to die as a direct result of injuries suffered in an NHL game. Ah. Sorry. It was a tragedy. It was just the hardest thing that, that uh, I've ever gone through, for sure. Cahan passed away in 1992, but Harris is haunted by the hit to this day and declined to be interviewed for this story. He has conducted only one interview on the subject. It bothers you the rest of your life, he told the St. Paul Pioneer Press in 2003. It wasn't dirty and it wasn't meant to happen that way. Still, it's very hard because I made the play. It's always in the back of my mind. It was not a dirty hit. I played with Ron and not a dirty player. There was nothing cheap, you know. It was just part of the game. If he gets a chance to see this, I would say that uh, I've never held any blame towards anybody, you know, held any grudge or anything, and he should let it go if he can. Masterton, like most players of that era, was not wearing a helmet at the time of the hit. It wasn't the thing to do. Management didn't care for players to put on helmets. It's unfortunate. It, it may have saved, you know, Bill's life, and that's, I think that's the part with the family that we all wish that he would have been. The Masterton Trophy is awarded each year to the player who best exemplifies sportsmanship, perseverance, and dedication to the game, qualities displayed every day of Bill Masterton's life. A guy that gives up his life for a game, for the one last shot to do it, is, that, that's, Pretty much perseverance in my mind. Every player just loved to be around Bill. He, he was quiet, yet he was a lot of fun to be around. And uh, I was happy to say that he was my friend.